Hi, my name is Jessica and I am a fifth year graduate student in the experimental program at Oklahoma State University. I decided to become a psychology major uh, because I took a psychology course when I was in high school. Um, it was a very uh, basic class, just an introductory to psychology class, and I just really loved the topic. Um, I had always been a person who wanted to know why people did the things they did, um, and psychology was the field that kind of allowed me to explore this. So I looked at my university's course listings um, for psychology and saw that I could take a range of topics, and so I decided to be a psych major based on the fact that I could look at topics about why people do the things they do in the type of situations um, when they're around different people and I knew that psychology as a major would let me explore that not only through my classes but also through research. Um, I also wanted to be a psychology major because I did enjoy um, writing papers um, and you do get to write a lot of papers in psychology classes um, but at the same time I was decent at math and so I was able to still take my stat classes in psychology um, so it was kind of a major that allowed me to get the best of what I wanted out of my education in terms of the topic I was interested in and my strengths um, in the different topics such as math and writing um, that I kind of developed from high school. Uh, currently I am a graduate student in the experimental program um, and what I study right now is social psychology or um, experimental psychology is the general topic um, and social psychology is kind of my sub area. Um, what I want to eventually do with my PhD in psychology is to work in an academic position. So to be a professor or a faculty member um, doing psychological research um, and teaching at a university. Um, there are other options that are opened up like you could work in industry like for a, a, a major corporation or company like Google um, and I wouldn't mind doing those things but first I'd like to kind of try and do an academic position um, so that is what I'm aiming for when I finish my PhD so that I can continue doing the type of research that I'm doing now in graduate school and continuing to explore um, my research interests um, in different topics and to continue to collaborate with other researchers um, that I'm already collaborating with. Uh, my favorite part about being a psychology major is getting to do research. Um, research in psychology is a major component. Most um, undergraduate programs are going to require that you do some kind of research either as a participant or as a researcher and some universities um, actually require both um, and I love doing research. I love designing studies and figuring out why people do the things they do um, and so in psychology you're not only taking classes that basically show you the findings of research um, but you also get to participate in that research which is something I think that's um, really unique um, and really fun and I I found that student, my students when I teach and when I was a student um, that that is one of the most fun things that you can do as a psychology major is participate in that research and design things and be creative. Um, and even when you get into graduate school, um, researcher is generally a major component of your graduate degree and so you get to continue that creativity and do research and find answers um, and explore and I think that is a really big component of psychology and I think that's one thing that a lot of people are drawn to psychology. Um, one of the hardest things about pursuing a psychology major um, is a lot of undergraduates will decide that they want to be a psych major because they assume that there are, there's no math involved. And unfortunately that is not the case. You're going to have to take some basic um, stat courses um, as a undergraduate and then when you get into graduate school you'll most likely have to take another basic, um, at least another basic um, stat class. Um, and so most people when they get to those um, stat classes in, in, in their psych division um, get a little intimidated and get a little nervous that this isn't what they signed up for in psychology. Um, so I think the hardest part is getting through that. Just understanding that you need the basic math to be able to understand the research, conduct the research, analyze your results, um, and just kind of get over the fact that that's just a part of um, psychology. Um, so some people, they won't have explored the psychology major thoroughly and don't realize that until it's time that they take that required class. Um, and then, like I said, they get a little nervous or intimidated or anxious because they're afraid that they're not going to do well as a psychology major because they didn't realize that they needed math. Um, and the math um, isn't really the hard it's really basic math it's just basic stats um, so I think if most people can kind of get over this aversion to having to do some basic math then most undergraduates are going to excel as a psychology major uh, one of the things that I wish someone had told me when I first started out as a psych major um, was to get involved 
in research as early as possible. Um, research is a major component of being a psychology major and being a psychology student even into graduate school. Um, and so as an undergraduate, you want to be involved in research as soon as you're eligible. Um, some universities may actually say that you have to take a couple required courses before you can be on the researcher side, and that's okay. If you take those classes as early as possible, um, then you can do research as early as possible. Um, and you want to have some research experience so that you can go on into graduate school because that will make you competitive against other people who are applying to graduate school. Um, the research experience will also let you kind of explore your own ideas. If you're working with a faculty member, they may let you um, come up with a study idea yourself so you get to kind of um, have an outlet for your own creativity when it comes to psychology, but you'll also learn some really good skills that will make you a better graduate student or will just be helpful out in the real world when you get a job. Um, and also when you do research experience, you'll also gain writing experience. So like writing um, papers in some cases, writing posters to take to conferences um, to present or you know writing speeches so that you can give um, a public speaking at a conference or maybe on your university's campus or with within your department, um, and all of that stems from being a part of research. Um, so I really wish someone had told me to start research a little bit earlier than what I already started when I was an undergrad. Um, the biggest piece of advice that I would give younger students who are starting out as psychology majors is to first um, develop good study habits. Um, psychology courses do vary on the types of requirements. Some of them are going to be math based like your quantitative classes. Um, some are going to be written based like your maybe your research uh, design classes or you have like a research component like a research paper or a lit review um, in a, another class. Um, so it's good to be able to know how to study for these different topics. Study for a math test or stats test, you know, be able to write papers and then be able to take your generic, you know, tests that are across your courses. Um, so developing good study habits and then also being involved in research as early as possible I think are the two biggest advice that I give um, younger students when I encounter them. Um, I think one of the biggest things that younger students can do to prepare to become a psychology major is to start exploring the topics in psychology as early as possible. Um, that way you can kind of gear your classes towards things that you might be interested in. Um, even though it's good to be diverse in the types of classes you take so that you can stumble upon something that you never thought you'd be interested in, you kind of want to have an idea early on um, the type of psychology that you want to go to, whether it's clinical or counseling, social, developmental, um, neuro, whatever it may be, you want to start looking at those topics as soon as possible. Um, um, the reason why you want to do this is so that you can start interacting with faculty members who are in those areas and you can start developing relationships with them because these people not only become your letter of recommendation writers, but they can also guide you in research. They can help you um, get poster presentations or you know support you writing a publication. Um, they can also provide a good network of contacts so that when you go to conferences with them, um, you meet their colleagues and that helps you get into graduate school. Um, you can meet people and do research across universities not with you know not only within your own university um, so I think that it is really good to start narrowing down a topic as soon as possible so that you can get involved in whatever that topic is so if you want to go into clinical um, if you know that as early as possible you can start volunteering as a research assistant for a clinical professor or in a clinical lab um, you can start looking for internships early um, you can start volunteering on campus or in your community um, maybe um, at at a shelter or a, um, a center for domestic youth or something like all along those lines you can volunteer in your free time and that will actually look good when you're applying to graduate school because even though it's not school based you're still doing something that's towards psychology and towards your interest and that just makes you more competitive when you're going to graduate school.